Are you using Google Classroom yet? Today I'm going to give a quick review of how to create an assignment in Google Classroom. The assignment I'm going to create is going to start in my drive. I've collected some resources on healthy food choices. I have some PDFs that I've gotten off of different websites. I have a Google Form. I have a Google Document template. These are all things I created ahead of time that I'm going to attach to my Google Classroom assignment. I think of these kind of like my black line masters. If I were going to give this assignment to students on paper, these would be what I'm going to take to the copy room. But since Google Classroom makes having a paperless classroom seamless, I already have collected those black lines in a folder in my Google Drive. Now I'm going to go into my classroom and click the assignment button. I'm going to title the assignment Healthy Food Choices. And then I'm going to give a short description of the assignment. I'm going to go ahead and just use the magic of computing and paste in the description so you don't have to watch me type. Um, I said, first read the articles attached below. After, create a healthy plate by inserting images into the Google Draw plate activity. Finally, compose a paragraph using the provided Google document. Remember to cite evidence from the text. As we look at these different parts of this assignment, you're going to see that they strongly resemble some of the items that we've been seeing as performance tasks in our SBAC testing. I can choose a due date. I'm going to make this one due on Friday. If I'd like to add a time, I could. I can also choose which students will be receiving this. Right now you see it says the room 16 stars. That's my practice class. If I were a teacher who taught multiple sections of the same subject, I could choose this drop down and perhaps assign it to period one, period two, period three, to multiple groups of students. But for my assignment today, I'm just going to assign it to my practice classroom. I'm going to go now to my drive because that's where I said I had all those black lines created. I'm going to press the drive icon. I'm going to go into the folder titled Healthy Foods Third Grade. When I click there, I can choose the items I want to attach to this assignment. I'm going to choose these three PDFs and add them to the list. You see how they show up? Over here on the right, these are PDFs that students need to view only, so I'm going to leave the settings as students can view file. These are just things that the students need to read. Now I'm going to go back to my drive, and I'm going to choose that folder again, and I'm going to choose the Healthy Plate Google Drawing template and add that to the list. But for this one, I want students to actually interact with this activity, so I'm going to choose the drop down here that says make a copy for each student. Finally, I'm going to go back into Drive, into my folder, and choose the document, which was the final task on their list of things to do. Again, because I want students to be able to have a copy of their own for this, I'm going to choose the drop down and go down here to make a copy for each student. I'm going to review this quickly. I have three PDFs. That the students will read. Oops, even though I said two, let me go back here and just edit that. I have a due date of May 15th. I have the final two pieces here that the students are all going to have their own individual copies of. I'm just double check everything's correct and then I will assign it to my students. And so now the students will have an assignment in our classroom where they can click on each of these, see the reading passage. They can click on the healthy plate template where I've asked them to insert images to create a plate of healthy foods. And then finally they can click on the Google document here that gives them their own copy of this writing prompt that says you've read several passages, compose a paragraph that describes way, ways that you can begin making better choices in your diet, especially with this last little bit that says cite evidence from the text. So hopefully this quick review will help you realize that it's super easy to compose assignments, kind of gather your resources, and share them with your students using Google Classroom.